Hi, I'm Ann Shea. This afternoon, members of Postal Workers Local 2122 held signs and distributed pamphlets protesting the transfer of processing duties from Bloomington's Vernal Pike Mail Processing Annex to the Indianapolis Processing and Distribution Center. Members held signs that read, Don't Cancel Our Postmark and the Time and Location of Tomorrow's Public Meeting. Picketers said a contractual pro prohibition of layoffs is evidence that today's protest is not about saving their jobs. They said their concern is for the loss of efficiency and quality service Bloomington citizens would suffer if the plan goes through. In the case of the relocation of processing duties, mail from Bloomington would first travel to Indianapolis for sorting before returning to Bloomington for delivery. The union says this means a piece of mail would take a week to be sent across town. The United States Postal Service says relocating the processing facility would save $1.1 million. The union says the USPS has yet to release the cost-saving plan for examination. The public meeting will be held at 7 p.m. Wednesday at the Bloomington Convention Center. Well, with IU football camp at the halfway point, the team is gearing up for a new season in the new stadium. WTIU's Joe Wren has more. The new north end zone rises over what IU Athletics hopes will trigger a new era of IU football. The tour included a 25,000 square foot weight room that overlooks the field and the Hall of Champions receiving finishing touches before the first home game set for September 3rd. The number one thing about the facility is it shows a commitment to football here at Indiana. And I think that is so important. I think it's something that's uh, quite honestly has probably been lacking and certainly from a facility standpoint in the past. And I think as our fans come and, and uh, watch a game here and the game day experience, they're going to realize football is important at Indiana. Today was also a day to showcase the 2009 football squad. They are picked to finish last in the Big Ten, but feel they can prove something different on the field. We've got to be a tougher football team, and the only way you're going to get tougher is you've got to practice that way, and it's going to be physical. Uh, but our guys have, have bought into it. More so now than maybe last year, we do have depth. You know, some of the young guys are throwing out there with not much experience, and it was kind of a tough position for them. With the departure of Kellen Lewis, Bloomington native Ben Chappell becomes the Hoosiers' number one quarterback. It's a privilege, and, and I'm honored you know, to have the position. Uh, it's one of those things where i got to keep going out and uh, getting better every day in practice and proving that I'm the guy. In the forecast tonight, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms, lows in the upper 60s. For your WTIU News Break, I'm Ann Shea.